Hi guys, welcome back to another fun filled video with Karen Zima. Today I'm very happy to be doing a seascape. I love my seascapes, love the ocean. I'm just an ocean person. I made this one a little different. I have the highlight from the sky over this way and then the rocks in this area here sort of pull you in to the ocean, to the spot over there. So that was my intention with this one and I hope you um, want to stay tuned and watch how I created it. It wasn't as hard as it looks. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to do those interesting clouds, the waves, and all those rocks. Stay tuned. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm back and I brought my palette. Um, some of the colors we're going to start with. Uh, this is going to be a beach scene, as I already explained. Uh, it's going to be like a very high horizon with clouds up there, maybe down, let's say a wave coming in, right about here, and some interesting rocks and patterns down in the sand. Now some of the colors I put out, we have a pathalo blue, a really cool looking blue, medium tone, and a lighter sky blue. We have a brown and a beige, here's a gold, we have an orange, a green for some of the water tones up here front we're going to have like green tones, a black and a white. So, very easy colors. And everybody needs a beach scene, so let's get at it. Let's get started on this one. Now, I want to wet the sky. So if you have one of these uh, water bottles, old Lysol, put water in it. It's good for acrylics. The acrylics require a lot of water. Just, just getting it nice and wet. Okay, now we get that going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pathalo. I'm going to start dark and just whip in a sky. We're going to whip it in and say where do I want the horizon. Our horizon. Let's see. Beach. Down a little more. Okay, so just put in your cathalo blue. Get it all toned in. And then we'll pull out some clouds. And we need something to start with. We need a base color just to get down so other colors will cling to it and stick to it. That's why a lot of artists tone their canvas first. Which I used to do when I painted in oils, but uh, I haven't done that in a while. I just get at it, get going. Just use layers and layers of color. Okay, now we got that. Just gonna blend it out. Softly blend it out. It's a real thick. This is just a cheap, uh, you know, cheap chip brush. I guess they call them chip brushes.
Peter Weave will be coming in here. And there's like maybe one behind it there. We're going to have some like splashies. Splashies coming up. Just kind of marking things out here. Then over here, there will be some waves on the beach. And then, what I'm going to do, let me see, let's, uh, let's just put in the foreground. We're going to start with this dark tone. This is where the sand is going to be and some rocks and all that. So let's just get that in. Just a brown for now. So this is going to be basically where the front of the beach is going to be. It's not going to be straight like this. We're going to add interest. Uh, wavy spots, rocks. Spending now, and as it dries, I can use some of the blue in the sand color. As it reflects in the sky, you have blue in your sand. So let's go ahead blue tones there. Put more in later. It makes a nice uh, base, base sandy color. Where this wave is 
sort of uh, move in kind of funny. waves are splashing up here, it's going to be very rocky. So, some of the rocks. Sand mound that's sticking out. 
Okay, step back and take a look. See if there's any areas that you feel like working on. I think I'm going to call it quits for this. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I need subscribers. so And don't forget to leave a comment. Those are very cool. I love reading comments. And one more thing. Keep on practicing. Until next time. Bye-bye.